Understanding cultural differences in expressing likes and dislikes. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English language learning series. In today's video, we will explore an important topic, understanding cultural differences in expressing likes and dislikes. As we communicate with people from different cultures, it's crucial to be aware of how cultural norms can shape the way we express our preferences. So, let's dive in and discover how to navigate these differences effectively. Cultural norms play a significant role in shaping how we express our likes and dislikes. In some cultures, directness is highly valued, and individuals may express their preferences straightforwardly. For example, in American culture, it is common to say, I love, or I hate when expressing strong likes or dislikes. This direct approach is appreciated as it provides clarity and honesty in communication. However, in other cultures, expressing extreme likes or dislikes directly might be considered impolite or offensive. Some cultures emphasize politeness and harmony in interactions, where individuals may use more subtle or indirect ways to convey their preferences. Instead of saying, I hate it, they might say, it's not really my cup of tea, or I'm not particularly fond of it. These phrases soften the impact of expressing dislikes and maintain social harmony. In cultures where indirectness is preferred, it's essential to understand common phrases and expressions used to convey likes and dislikes subtly. Let's explore a few examples. It's quite interesting. This phrase is often used when someone wants to express a moderate level of liking without being too enthusiastic. I don't mind it. This expression indicates a neutral feeling towards something. It implies that the person doesn't have strong feelings either way. It's not my favorite. This phrase indicates a mild dislike without sounding overly negative or offensive. Remember, these expressions may vary across cultures, so it's important to familiarize yourself with the specific phrases commonly used in the culture you are interacting with. Expressing likes and dislikes also extends beyond verbal communication. Nonverbal cues and body language can provide additional context and meaning to our expressions. In some cultures, a smile and enthusiastic gestures may indicate liking, while a frown or crossed arms might indicate dislike or discomfort. It's crucial to pay attention to these nonverbal cues to better understand the true meaning behind someone's expression of likes or dislikes. However, be cautious not to rely solely on nonverbal cues, as they can vary from person to person and may not always accurately convey their preferences. Understanding cultural differences in expressing likes and dislikes is a key aspect of effective cross-cultural communication. By being aware of these differences, we can navigate conversations more smoothly and avoid misunderstandings. Remember, while directness is appreciated in some cultures, others prefer a more indirect approach. Pay attention to both verbal and nonverbal cues to gain a comprehensive understanding of someone's preferences. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights into expressing likes and dislikes across cultures. Practice incorporating these cultural considerations into your language learning journey, and you'll become a more effective communicator in no time. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.